Hey everyone, today's video is actually an update of a video we made three years ago when we put up Maggie's oil change. Now we said back then that we were going to continue to look for ways to make it easier and cleaner because the F53 chassis here does have some interesting um, challenges. Yeah. <laughs> so we did find something, at least one way to make it a little bit easier. We're going to show you that today. Hopefully we have found two. Now this is a 2016 V10 F53 chassis. Make sure you check your owner's manual because this is what Maggie needs. I'm not saying it's going to be what yours needs. Always, always check your manual. What we need today for Maggie is seven quarts of 5W30, an oil filter, an oil filter wrench, and a way to get the oil back in. Yeah, we're also going to need containers for the waste oil once we get it all out. And we're also going to try a hack today for the oil filter. And we no longer need the 5 8 combination wrench or socket to take the plug out of the oil pan because, well, it's not in there. We also will no longer need the 30-pack Bud Light container to divert the oil into the waste pan. Now, one of the first challenges we found doing an oil change on an F53 chassis is where the oil comes out of the pan. See right here in the drain hole? It is directly above the axles. You take the plug out, oil pours down, goes all over the axle, goes all over the ground, goes all over you. It's just a mess. A lot of people wrote and said that we should consider the Fermoto oil valve. You know what? I gave in on the last oil change. And here it is. <laughs> this is the Fermoto oil valve. It's basically just a ball valve that's either open or closed. What's nice about it, though, is... The fact that it has two fail safes I'm calling on it, because to operate it, you have to lift up here and then turn it this way. Well, that's what this is preventing from happening right there. And the second thing is to lift it up, if you let it go, it's spring loaded. So it can't really accidentally turn to the right, especially with the plastic piece on. So uh, we like it. We have not had an issue with it. And you can already tell because right here, nipple that comes on it, you pull that off. We're going to put a hose on here, and then we're going to open it. The oil's going to pour out. But first, let's warm up the engine oil. Now, we will have links to everything, including this valve, in the description box down below the video if you want to get one yourself. The valve did come with a tube. Uh, I cut it in half because it was way too long. So, you just put the tube right over. It's a nice, tight fit. And then I'm just going to stick the other end into a jug to catch it. Now... Here we go. This is the first time. Pull off that. Lift up and turn. Hey, look at that. Oh, that is so much easier. <laughs> right into the jug. All right, so I'm going to stop it from flowing. Make sure it's clicked back in there. And I'm just going to change it out. Now, mind you, it's going to be a. I can't really feel that. It's the things we do for videos. Not draining. No, just Ready, what's in the hose. Quick. <laughs> All right, now, get the cover on this one. Actually, let me start it going again. Ready? So pulling up, pulling over. There it goes again. Letting it finish. Let's get a cap on this one, though. So, while the rest of the oil is draining, we're going to show you what we intend to do with this. This is where your oil filter is. It's on the other side of the engine exactly. Well, I don't know if you can see over here. <laughs> They're kind of in line with each other. This also is directly over the axle. And we're going to try a bag hack. There's two ways to do it. You take a regular grocery bag like this, you know, the flimsy ones. Blow it up first. Make sure that it does not have a hole in it. Because if you use this and it has a hole in it, well, that's going to stink. We're basically going to cover it up. Once you loosen it, you loosen it, just make sure it's loose, but not enough to have oil coming up. And then you turn it, okay? As you're coming off, all the oil should go into the bag. That's what I've seen online. I haven't seen anyone actually do an F53 chassis, so you're seeing it as we're seeing it. <laughs> now, the other way to do it is to use a galley Ziploc bag. Now, I know this looks used, but when you first pull the bag out, it is extremely stiff. So I've been crumbling it and just trying to get it a little bit more flexible. Because where the problem lies is, if these two hoses were here, or even here, it'd be perfect. You just put the bag right up over the whole thing, undo it, all the oil would go into the bag, you'd be all set. But these here are going to prevent me from doing that. I can only get it up and try to get it as flush as I can up here. So I'm hoping, once I loosen this and I put the bag over it, as I turn it, 
it doesn't come out the sides but I am gonna put a pan here just in case it doesn't work so this is how this would work pulling it up and again the two spots that I'm concerned with are right in here and right in here so if I bring this up all the way and it's important we didn't do this last time important to have the bag all the way up as you're grabbing because last time we did it here and we're turning it and then it slipped because let's face it there's oil going into the bag and on the felt it slipped down fell here fell out of my hand didn't make a lot of uh mess but it, it made some mess so we're gonna try it this way make sure it's all the way up i'm gonna pull out the edges where i'm concerned about it like that and then i'll start turning and see what happens but as i turn i'm gonna release to let the bag come back to size again because you don't want to keep turning this because they're going to try turning it up the top that was another mistake that we made last time so without further ado let me get that oil filter rinse and break this loose loosen it i want to get it just to where i can move it myself without it leaking <laughs> okay so let's see what we do here which bag are you going to use babe uh, i'm going to use the gallon bag so please notice this is the first time i'm putting on gloves for the oil change <laughs> i'm pretty sure the other one's going to go clean Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if this is a blooper or not. <laughs> I've never seen any oil falling yet. <laughs> it's coming. Here it comes. So far, so good. Now that I know that this works, I will be a little bit different doing it next time. He'll have this job done in five minutes. Uh, it's off. That. It's off, yeah. Okay. All right. Now I just gotta clean up the area. Yeah. There it is. There's the bag. Now all I'll do is I'll turn it to one side, I'll cut an edge off, and then I'll pour it into the, the container and get rid of this too. Yep. So overall, I'm gonna call that a success. Yeah. It's not perfect, but it's our second time. And uh, with a little bit of practice, we yeah. should get this down pat. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'll leave that up there while I prepare the new filter. I know as far as the filter goes, this takes the FL820S. Well, for Maggie, check your owner's manual. What I like to do is because it screws up, I like to put oil in it. For me, when you start it, if it's empty, the oil still has to go through the engine to fill this to actually get back into the engine. So this way here, it just doesn't take as long. Am I protecting the engine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do it, do you gotta worry? Oh, Probably most people not. don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour the oil in. Now there is a seal on this, right here, the black. You take some of that oil, just rub it around it. What it does is it makes it easier to get the filter off next time. You don't have to worry about the rubber seizing to the mounting up there. This is the surface I was talking about. That's where the seal is going to go. Just have a little bit of oil still leaking out. That will be fine. Put this up, get it started. Be careful, do not cross thread this. It would not be fun. I just kind of get it as much as possible. Of course, I've got a little oil on my hands. All right, good hand tights it. You don't want to over tighten. Let's close this. Get that like that. We pull the uh, clip out of it. And you want the slot to go on the side of where the lever is. Just like that, see? Yep. It won't go up. All right, pull the hose off of it. So we had to cut that clip because we lost the cap. <laughs> yeah, it fell out of my pocket. <laughs> now you may have noticed at the beginning of the video there was three jugs, two were for waste oil. This one here was going to be in case the bag hack just wasn't working. What you would do with this, it's just another hack. You cut the bottom of it off, okay? And then you come down the sides and then across the front, giving yourself enough room to push this up to cover the filter, but get your hand into the container 
and be able to turn the oil filter. That way there, any of the oil is going to get caught down in here. And of course, then you take the, this off to drain it. Um, for me, that would still be getting hand, uh, ew, that'd still be getting oil all over my hand and down, going down my arm. So we decided not to go that route. I like the back. Moving on. Now, the third challenge with doing an oil change on the F53 is filling it back up. If you come in here, that opening is smaller than the wide mouth on these bottles to begin with. Then another problem is, is you're going to pour right about now, it would stop pouring. So you gotta be really, really good. And if you tried to get it all in, we know from experience, don't do this. <laughs> Especially if you try it all the way up, that's the distance that you have. You're trying to get a funnel in there that's just not going to work. So what we use, we use this to put the oil in and it just screws right onto the top of it. And I know what you're thinking. Well, wait a minute, those are wide mouth bottles. What if I have the regular size? Comes with an adapter, they'd be all set. Now what this allows us to do is I can turn it on and off. So I got it all the way off right now, off the arrow which means it doesn't leak, okay? So what I'm gonna do, actually I'm going to pull this cap right off of here because it's just easier. And then with the oil filled cap off, let me come in. I'm just gonna turn it on, then stick my tube in there. And there goes the oil. Now I've gotta do this for seven quarts and I don't think you wanna sit here and watch the whole seven go in. So we'll join you back on the last quart. All right, we're down to our last quart of oil. And in case you wonder why we use seven individual bottles, well, the five quart jug would not fit up here in Maggie's engine compartment. That's why. The seventh has finally filled. Now put the cap back on. Oh. We also do the generator oil and filter when we do the oil change on Maggie. Um, we're not gonna film that because we already have a cover video. The yeah, it just popped up. I'll take you to that video too if you want to see it. <laughs> All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start Maggie, then let her run for a little bit, make sure everything's okay, then come out, check the level, go underneath and check for leaks. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, starting Maggie. You wanna watch this gauge here. You wanna have it right to about that spot, anywhere in between there, and you should be okay. Right, you can see where we put the oil in and next to it you would think would be the oil level dipstick But it's not that's the transmission fluid. So where is it for the oil? You gotta come the other side of the engine makes a lot of sense, huh? See the yellow right there? That's it. I'm gonna be yanking that out and uh, checking it. It's a long one, too <laughs> Goes all the way down to the end of the street <laughs> Finally all right, what you want to do when you pull it out, you want to take any oil that's on it off. And then you're going to reinsert it. Wherever that hole is, it's dark in there right now. Feed it all the way back down. To the end of the street. <laughs> all the way in, pull it back out. To the end. Don't wipe the end. That way right there, right up to the top. So we are good. Excellent. Put it back in. All right, there is no oil at all around the oil filter. There's no oil around the pan. Well, on the outside, there's a lot of oil on the inside of both of them. So we are good. All right, well, there you go. The new and improved oil change for Maggie. This is the way that we're going to do it, unless we run across another way that is even less messier and quicker. And we will let you know, because that's what we do. <laughs> now, my afternoon is going to continue. I already told you I have to do the generator. Uh, Maggie needs a chassis lube, and the levelers also need to be lubed. I like to put everything together in her maintenance log at the same time. So other than that, if you like what you saw, we'd really appreciate that thumbs up as always. And if you really liked what you saw, right below where I'm standing underneath this video, YouTube has a new feature. You can buy us a beer. Just hit the thanks button. <laughs> you want to become part of the growing gig on with us gang? Right down there in the corner, just click it and you're in. After you do that, don't forget to ring the bell. You'll be notified every time we put a new video out. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below, or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back. We always do. You know that. Until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. Bye.